here the question is a and b are partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 1 respectively fine this is the first line and the last sentence is you are required to prepare necessary ledger accounts and balance sheet of the firm after the admission of c from the above informations here working notes old ratio of a is to b is equal to 2 is to 1 p is admitted for one fourth share let the total profit of the firm be 1 remaining share of a and b after p's admission is 1 minus 1 fourth that is lcm 4 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 upon 4 s new share that is 3 upon 4 is the remaining share of a and b which will be distributed in the ratio of 2 is to 1 hence 3 upon 4 multiplied by 2 by 3 for a and 1 by 3 for b is equal to 6 by 12 for a and 3 by 12 for b and to equalize the denominator of one fourth available to p or given to p is equal to p is new share is equal to 1 by 4 multiplied by 3 by 3 that is equal to 3 by 12 therefore the new ratio of a is to b is to c is equal to 6 is to 3 is to 3 that is equal to 2 is to 1 is to 1 now sacrificing ratio is equal to old ratio minus new ratio a sacrifice is equal to old share 2 by 3 minus new share 2 by 4 that is equal to 8 minus 6 upon 12 is equal to 2 by 12. Likewise B sacrifice is equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is the share of B sacrifice 1 by 3 is the old share of a B minus B new share that is 1 by 4 that is equal to 4 minus 3 upon 12 that is equal to 1 by 12. Now the sacrificing ratio of A is to B is equal to 2 is to 1. Then a revaluation account draw the proper revaluation account we have been required to prepare the necessary ledger accounts and the first one being a B part c part rupees 9000 is to be provided for doubtful debts to reserve for doubtful debts or to provision for doubtful debts 9000 this is an expenditure hence debited to the revaluation account depreciation on a furniture is to be provided at 5 percent furniture is a 24000 and 5 percent of this that is 24000 multiplied by 5 percent that is 1200 to provision for doubtful debts that is 1200 then depreciation on furniture is to be provided at 5 percent it is 24000 at the rate of 5 percent to provision to depreciation on furniture 1200 and stock is to be valued at 42000 actually stock is given in the book as the third item 48000 it will be 42000 two stock decrease in the value of stock rupees 6000 is an expenditure and we have everything in the debit side of our revaluation account hence we have loss that is 16200 is the totaling taken to the credit side and the difference is rupees 16200 and this is the profit that is a loss that is to be shared by by capital accounts revaluation loss transferred in old ratio of a is to b that is 2 is to 1 now a will be getting rupees 16200 multiplied by 2 by 3 that is equal to rupees 10800 and b will be getting rupees 16200 multiplied by 1 upon 3 that is equal to rupees 5400 now uh, we will having uh, this capital accounts that is partners capital accounts debit credit side both abc will be there and we will have this buy balance brought down opening capital balance for a rupees one lakh sixty thousand for b rupees one lakh twenty thousand now this is buy balance brought down then 
we have cash by cash account you have to read this line and this is the, uh, the typical point in this question she will bring in rupees 84000 of which 36000 will be treated as is the share of goodwill of which the word of which this say of goodwill to be retained in the business that is capital 36000 minus 84000 hence capital is 48000 total she brings in rupees 84000 of which goodwill is 36000 Hence, the remaining 48,000 is capital contribution by cash account, rupees 48,000. Then, by premium for goodwill, by premium for goodwill account, for A it is rupees 24,000, for B rupees 12,000. That is 2 in, is to 1. By premium for goodwill account, that is 2 is to 1. 36,000 will be distributed in this ratio. Then, Revaluation general reserve. General reserve is there in the liability side rupees 64, 96,000. That will be distributed in the old ratio by general reserve rupees 64,000 for A and rupees 32,000 for B. That is distributed in 2 is to 1 ratio. Then in the debit side, to, to revaluation account. In the debit side, this is to revaluation account. This is revaluation loss for A rupees 10,800 and B rupees 5,400. Then the totaling of the credit side will be rupees credit side will be total and transfer to the debit side. The totaling is rupees 2,48,000 per A for B 1,64,000 for C 48,000 and two balance carried down will be there and the difference will be written there that is for A rupees 2,37,200, for B rupees 1,54,000, for C rupees 48,000. Now, we have to go for the balance sheet. This is balance sheet as at 1st April 2017. We have to draw the liabilities and asset side with rupee symbols. It is always better to start from the asset side. First one being building, don't change the order. Because this is given in the form of permanency, there is no change in building 80,000. Furniture, there is a change and a new revalued value will be there, 22,800. Stock, rupees 42,000, new value. Debtors, less, debtors, rupees 2,40,000. Less, reserve for doubtful debts, rupees 9,000. And in the final column, we have rupees 2,31,000. Next one is cash at bank, there is no change. And cash in hand, which has been brought in by the new partner, C84,000 will be there. This includes goodwill 36,000, of which is very important. And come down to the totaling, that is rupees 5,7,800. Then your liabilities, capital accounts, capital account of A, rupees 2,37,200, B, rupees 1,58,600, C, rupees 48,000. The totaling is 4,43,800 and creditors rupees 64,000 and totaling of the liability side is rupees 5,7,800 and this is the final answer.